Hello, welcome to this lesson. We're going to continue working with multiplying polynomials, but here we're going to mix it up a little bit, and we'll, we'll show you some practical, um, some practical reasons why this can actually be something useful for you. So we're going to learn how to solve some equations where you have to multiply these things together. What if you have the equation x plus 2 times x minus 5, and that was equal to x minus 1 times x minus 3? Notice that there is an equal sign here, and there's x's on the left, and there's x's on the right. And I ask you, solve this equation for x. Now, if you don't have any idea what to do, it's totally understandable because you've never seen an equation like this before. So don't stress out about it. All of the previous equations that I've ever shown you, there was maybe some x's on the left and on the right, but then you, you, know, you add or subtract things, and your, your goal is to get x on one side and to get everything else on the other side. And then when you do that, you know what x is equal to. But here, x is wrapped up inside of these parentheses here, so it's hard to move x around. But when you see these binomials multiplied together like this, you immediately know you can multiply them. And what you're going to do is multiply and then expand everything, collect all of the like terms, and then move all of your x's off to one side, and then solve it. So this is an equation that requires you to multiply these binomials first. So x times x gives you x squared. Okay. And then x times negative 5 gives you negative 5x. And then uh, 2 times x gives you 2x. And then 2 times negative 5 gives you negative 10. Okay? And then you have an equal sign right here. And on the right-hand side, you're going to do the same thing. x times x gives you x squared. And then um, x times negative 3 is going to give you negative 3x. And then negative 1 times 